when I started as a woman, you know, in the culinary industry, I discovered many problems. Now, one of the pro for me as a woman, you know, starting a culinary school that was very capital intensive, I was not, I did not, I, I could not even get access to credit from the banks because they were like, ah, it's just a catering school. No, we don't do food. We don't, it was, it was not something that everybody knew. Although there were people doing it, people like um, Red Dish, who had started um, Chef Stone, is a mentor of mine, he's somebody I have a lot of respect for. And he kind of blazed the trail, you know, for others like us to, to pass, to follow, absolutely. So we had that problem, but um, I'm somebody that um, I don't see obstacles. I just see them as challenges. So anyhow, anyhow, we're just doing it, winging it, using some of my personal savings, uh, asking friends and family, and we began. Now, the second problem that I noticed is that it's a business that is very capital intensive. You're cooking every day. You know, you're buying all these items and then there's inflation. And so I said, so what, what, how do we solve this problem? Because for education to be impactful, it has to be accessible mm -hmm. to as many people as possible. And I knew that from the success story that we're getting, uh, by the way, we have six, more than six alumni working in different establishments all over, all, all over the world. In fact, six continents using our certificate. So I knew that uh, what we do could unlock a lot of opportunities for youth, but how do they access these opportunities? So we came up with a plan that um, we would offer scholarship to 8,000 people. So uh, we put the ad. In fact, we said 100,000. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. I remember we had more than 50,000. Uh, our, our, our inbox was filled up. We could not even see um, important messages again. We had to like now shift from that, you know, to open another one, to open it, yes, yeah, so that so that we could like manage the numbers. It just goes to show you how much people really, really want this. So, but we ended up at um, about a thousand people taught them. They were so amazed. They were so, they were so grateful. We had um, people sending me messages. I still have some screenshots of the messages, you know, thanking me from the bottom of their hearts, you know, saying that we did something that no one had ever thought of doing before. 